Charlotte, the seventh in the nation for business and careers. But what if you're black? Why is it so hard for black owned businesses to find a home in the hottest neighborhoods? Fox 46's Jamal Goss reports on the downside of upscale. Damian Johnson is one of the owners of No Grease Barbershop. As black business owners, you, you just understand uh, the rules and the goalpost is always being moved. There are six locations in Charlotte, including ones in Uptown and South Park Mall. The community rallied behind him and his brother after they almost lost the mall location. A new agreement is underway, but it's one disparity Johnson says happens too often to black business owners. Just being a black business owner, you, you get added this, this whole race card, and then you have to have a whole nother set of skills to deal with on top of just being a, a business owner. Years ago, Johnson tried leasing a space on Central Avenue. It's a predominantly white area with a new hip scene. There are a few mom and pop stores and chain stores like Five Guys moving in. Johnson says he was denied leasing space without any explanation. He says he felt that it was because he was a black business owner. And we later found another location, but those things, you know, those things are just coded and you just understand. Uh, especially being a, a black business owner that you, you can't even you can't even put your finger on it. According to recently released census numbers, minorities own just over 18% of businesses in the U.S. It's tougher to find good current Charlotte data. The Chamber of Commerce commissioned a study released in 2021 that showed black owned businesses in the greater Charlotte area numbered under 6%. African American folks are often the people who are climbing that entrepreneurial ladder and this is real hard for them. Dr. Tom Hanchen is a Charlotte historian and says repeating history would cut the diversity of a growing city. Some business disparities started after the historical Brooklyn neighborhood was torn down in the heart of the uptown. More than a thousand black families were displaced and more than 200 black owned businesses were destroyed. Urban renewal really pushed established black business owners out of, in this case, Brooklyn. Um, out to these suburban corridors. And uh, today, uh, 50, 60 years later, as rents go up, um, those once again are the folks that are, are getting squeezed out. I would totally say, don't make the assumption that you can't go in these areas, right? Um, I think you gotta make sure you understand like, how the game is played. Rodney Faulkner is a commercial real estate broker and is helping black business owners move into higher scale neighborhoods. While he's working to diversify the market, data shows efforts aren't moving fast enough. The Charlotte Regional Business Alliance says more than 21,000 businesses are in Charlotte Mecklenburg County and less than 3,100 are minority owned. We wanna be where the opportunities are and it shows that if Charlotte's going to be the city that they say they want to be, if they want to be the city of the South, the new city of the South, then they're going to have to, you know, create opportunities for all businesses, black businesses particularly. In Charlotte, I'm Jamal Goss, Fox 46.